go in and tell you about my first cheating um, situation. I was 19. This was my second boyfriend. He used to have this pager and the pager would always be going off. Long story short, I found out that my ex was cheating on me. One of the funniest things is to this day, I still speak to the woman he cheated on me with. She actually reached out to me recently to wish me a happy birthday. We, it is 25 years later, we have raised kids, we have gone through different things in life, and me and her still speak. He and I will occasionally speak. It's funny, when I used to have shorter hair, I used to go to his barber shop, he used to line me up, make sure that my hair was good before I went to the hairdresser. Like, it wasn't something that I held against him. I didn't look at him and go, just because you cheated at me when we were 19 teenagers going into adulthood, right, that you're always going to be this man. He may or may not be, but I didn't see it as a character flaw. I saw it as a misstep that someone took. I also saw her, again, we were all young. Uh, she's maybe a year or two older than, uh, younger than us. And so we were all just trying to figure life out. Now, I tell my first cheating story to say, there is no part of me that took that situation and then put that on to every other man that came into my life. It was a blip on the radar of my life. I wasn't angry at him, but I was disappointed. I remember just being disappointed. I remember just thinking like, we're better than this. There was no part of me that blamed myself for my ex cheating at all. This wasn't on me. This was a choice that he made, good, bad, or indifferent, no matter what I thought about it. It was a choice that he made in those moments that he was going to step outside of the relationship, understanding that he could lose the relationship, understanding that there were going to be consequences to his actions. That was entirely on him. And I knew enough about that at 19 years old. At 19. I knew enough that this is not about me. He's not doing this because of me. He's not doing this because he doesn't love me. He's not doing this because I'm not doing whatever I need to be doing. He's doing this because he wants to. It's a choice that he's making, good, bad, or indifferent. That's on him. I wasn't going to hold on to that. I wasn't going to internalize that. That wasn't going to be a thing for me. And I was definitely not going to carry that out through the rest of my life because that was him and me. It did not mean that the next man who came into my life that was going to do that to me. And I damn well at 19 knew enough, 1920 knew enough to know that I could not project what my ex had done to me on my next.